I'm Ez Devlin, I'm a stage designer, I work in opera, theatre, dance, pop music and Olympic ceremonies. Only now, after 16 years of doing it, do I have the confidence to say to Kanye West or to say to Casper Holton or to say to Bono, I don't care who it is, I'll just say that's a great idea but I disagree with it. If, if you're going to have a framework anyway... Well, the older I get, the less I compromise. Um, having children is part of that. When I made the decision to have children, I was ready to stop doing everything. Uh, it was very difficult for me to have children. It took uh, about six years of treatments for me to have children, and I would do anything. I was desperate. I was worried that the creative energy I have would get diverted into having children, into preparing their parties, into making their cakes, into doing whatever I would do. When the first child came, it became clear to me that in order to be a good mother, I needed to be me, and in order to be me, I needed to carry on doing what I had been doing. You know, there used to be hats for the pet shop boys. And the absolute uh, paramount thing for me to maintain an equilibrium between being a mother and being a designer is that I'm kind of ruthless about timing. I have a diary that fills up, especially with opera, so right up until 2018, there are projects which I know I will be doing. In that diary also, are equally important chunks of time where I will not be working at all. There are chunks of school holidays, there are chunks of Christmas holidays, uh, there are chunks around children's exam times which won't be touched, whatever comes up. If the Queen asked me to redesign Buckingham Palace, I wouldn't do it. My children are three and six. They're only going to be three and six for a minute. They're going to stop being children in the next decade, you know. This is a really contained period of time for me um, and for them, of course. So I'm very conscious of keeping things in balance for now. Each woman, each mother will feel that sense of walking the tightrope of balance between when they're giving their children enough and when they're giving their work enough. And the main thing I've learned is as soon as your gut tells you that one side isn't getting enough, you have to do whatever it takes to redress the balance. Because everybody has warned me that if you don't, you regret it later.